in the lightweight division, one of the best divisions, if not the best division in the UFC. You got two heavy hitters in Matush Gamrot, 23-2, and two, taking on RDA, Rafael Dos Anjos, who comes in at 32-15. and 15. Now Gamrot, two inches taller at 5'10". He's 33, RDA is 39. Gamrot, one inch reach advantage, 71-70. to 70. Very close. Both guys fight left-handed. I like that. Gamrot, just three significant strikes per minute, but RDA, just three and a half per minute. So takedown game is going to be important here. Gamrot lands like a takedown and a half every single round. Uh, RDA lands like one every other round, although he's just a little bit better than that, like two per every three rounds. So both guys uh, not very active on the feet. They can be if they need to, but they want to get this fight to the ground, and RDA wants to control this fight up against the fence. So keep an eye on that. During this fight, Gamrot, 90% takedown defense. That's incredible. He beat Rafael Fiziev. That was a big win by KO. He beat Jalen Turner, who I believe at that time was coming off a five-fight win streak. He beat him by split decision. Had four takedowns, but only 29 significant strikes in that fight. The key was, though, is that he held Jalen Turner, uh, a striker, to just 40. Uh, and that's because of the takedown game. So he didn't do much with it. No submission attempts, but kind of grinded out a victory in that one. And it was a, a big victory uh, to boot. Now, RDA, 56% takedown defense. That's going to be a problem. Loss to Vicente Luque uh, by unanimous decision. Vicente had eight takedowns on RDA. That's incredible. Now, RDA did beat Brian Barberina by submission before that. Lost to Rafael Fiziev by KO. So, RDA got KO'd by Fiziev. Gamrot KO'd Fiziev. So, that ought to tell you here how I'm looking at my prediction. I'm already liking Gamrot to win this fight, although RDA is always a tough test. But when you look at the common opponent, that even solidifies your thinking even more uh, to say, hey, Matush Gamrot should win this fight. We should be rooting for him to win this fight. He's only 33, still right in that prime window. RDA is headed towards 40. So, you know, as a fight fan, you should want Gamrot to win. But even not looking at it that way, just at the numbers and who should win, Matush Gamrot should win this fight, in my opinion, uh, both on the feet and on the ground in dominating fashion to move to 24-2. Here, lightweight division, UFC 299.